hey guys good evening to everyone and thanks for joining so yesterday we completed malware investigation with automated tool analysis as well as manual analysis uh, sorry today morning as well and also ransomware attack and uh, today discussion phishing email investigation it is one of the very very popular interview question so what is phishing email what are the different types of phishing emails we have and what are the scenarios normally from the interview point of view interview will expect so those things we can discuss and also i will show you practically what to do how to do and what is the reputation check and so on let's start now so you know already what is phishing email so phishing email normally attacker will trick the end user by sending an email so what are the different types of information or how we can identify phishing email so we will use a attacker will use either invoice copies or attacker will use so a lot of spelling mistakes and malicious domains malicious url links job opportunities okay gift card voucher card so these are all the ways normally attacker will send an email even credential also credential stealing or credential scrapping so what attacker will do he will send one of the malicious url link and uh, once you are clicking on this that particular link it will ask your username and password so once you are entering entering to the username and password automatically it will redirect redirect to him and he can see your username and password once he will get the username and password from there he will send the emails on behalf of you okay so phishing email identification as i said lottery emails job opportunities emails malicious url links and invoice copies gift card voucher card so these are all the possible ways we can identify the phishing email okay so what happened recently my company is provided one of the gift card so i thought like it's a phishing email and i am not registering it's a pma related shoes basically so wantedly they send for every employee they send one of the pma related shows so nothing but we have to take that gift card and we have to go to the puma and we have to order that particular thing so that it will come back to india so that is the process by seeing that email i thought it's like a phishing email and i am not clicking on anything then finally one of my colleague he called me and he is asking so whether it is a phishing email or it's like a genuine email so we took a risk and we clicked on that particular link and finally we found it's a genuine email okay even i have done the analysis as well okay so because every time we we'll think like we are security persons we should not click on all those so finally i thought like it's like a genuine email after doing all these analysis hope everyone got whatever i said okay so coming back here so phishing email attacker will track the end user by sending an email and he will gain unauthorized access or sense to data exposure so that is the phishing email you know already how can we identify phishing email or otherwise how we can suspect so how we can identify how can we identify or how we can suspect so based on lottery emails job opportunities emails okay so next one is gift card voucher card so next one is invoice copies okay so next one uh, malicious malware attachments malicious url link okay so even lot of spelling mistakes even something adult content also they will provide adult content related email so these are all the ways we can identify the phishing email okay so once you are suspect any of the email content this body or maybe messages then we have to suspect so this is most 
most of the cases it will come via these things lottery mail job opportunities gift card voucher card invoice copies attachments clicking okay so spelling mistakes adult content and the malicious malware attachment even malicious yeah malicious you are links also then types of phishing so types of phishing you know already what is a spear phishing and also veiling all these things we discussed already part of attacks once again i'm i mean recapping everything veiling phishing smishing next one is malicious you malicious attachment phishing malicious url link phishing so these are the couple of no only couple of but so many are there so but these are very very important so spear phishing so attacker will send the email to either single end user or single employee or else group of users so that is called spear phishing either attacker will send an email to single user or maybe group of users once he will send an email he will trick the end user then finally he will gain the credential access or maybe he will gain the unauthorized access or sense to data exposure or confidential data exposure so that is called spear phishing so what is the keyword we have to remember in this one so we have to remember email will send it to single user or group of users so that is the keyword so coming to whaling as i said whaling big fish so who is the big fish in the organization so board of directors or senior management or maybe you know who are all part of senior management obviously cto example so ce wo ceo cfo ceo so vice president directors all these are examples of so senior management or board of directors so attacker will send an email to these uh, board of directors or maybe senior management people finally he will trick them and he will gain the unauthorized access okay so that is veiling so coming to wishing so wishing is by phone call okay by phone call so attacker will call to the respective user and he will gain the unauthorized access sometimes even linkedin also we will receive the calls and they will ask lot of information which company you are working what is your role and so on it is not basically vacancy related call they will call to us and they will get information so what is your current ctc what is your expected ctc it's like a survey kind of thing but don't say whenever they will call and they will ask all this information to you it's happened two or three times to me so that's why i did not i know because why they are calling and what they are asking and so on i found out it's not a job vacancy call then finally i say i am not interested okay so they will enquire about lot of information so please provide your friend email address please provide your friend email contact number and so on by phone call attacker or intruder or hacker he will call to the end user then he will gain the unauthorized information so example you know most of the cases nowadays it is happening so to the everybody in the public wise also so sbi cards or debit cards or credit cards related to different banks okay so we will with i mean we will deposit some money to you just you can provide your bank account or maybe debit card information and pin number and so on so many people lost their money so that is wishing so next one is smishing so smishing as i said several times whatsapp group it's a regular one so many people will send this one so most of the kids like a malicious url link so they will send the malicious url link you can click on this one 
you will get iphone you will click on this one you will receive one of the good news you can click on this one so on so actually it will not happen either maybe they want to do advertise of their product or maybe really they want to do some hacking okay so smashing so through messages basically through sms Next one, malicious attachments. So these two are completely personal related. It's not related to corporate. When I say corporate, it's nothing but MNC company or company or customer and so on. But these two are belongs to in our personal life. Every person will handle these type of situations. It's not applicable to our organization level or company level. Okay, malicious attachments. So. As I said, invoice copies one of the example, or maybe one of the Excel sheet, or maybe okay, so lottery related documents, and so on. So that is malicious attachments. So here, any attachment will come via email. It's one of the phishing email. So next one, malicious URL link in the phishing email itself. So you can click on this one, so you will get gift card. You can click on this one, you will see the voucher card and so on. Okay, so that is your link. You should not click on that particular one. So first one and second one and third one and fourth one. So these two, these four are belongs to corporate. When you say corporate, it's nothing but our organization level. But these two are belongs to personal. Okay. So these are personal, every, every end user. So these are corporate related. Even these remaining two also, this one and this one and these two also, personal people will receive. But what I mean to say here, so regularly water fishing emails is coming to us in the organization level and water investigation we are doing so employee related so these fall under corporate otherwise company related okay so that is about types of fishing okay so now we can go and we can discuss about couple of scenarios okay i will show practically as well so every fish every email contains Every email contains, you know already, so sender email address. So next one is a recipient email address. So sender IP, uh, recipient IP. So next one we have D mark DKIM DK yes DK so next one SPF next one written path what is the last one what is the last one header analyzer header analyzer yes Editor analyzer. So these are all the very, very important factors, but these are all very important features. So every email contains some of the technical features, this entire question as well. So sender policy framework. So for SMTP configuration wise, we have to configure. We have to identify. So whether who is the sender, whether he's a genuine sender or not. So whether certificate is there or not. So what is the identity of the person or identity of the user? Okay, so that is called sender policy framework. So next one is a DMARC, Domain Message Authentication Receive Code. This is for mainly for integrity of the user. So whether he's a trustworthy or not. So to take care of that one, we use a domain keys. So exchanging the public and private key in between sender and receiver. 
okay so that is about overall what is center policy framework what is dmark and what is dkm so dkm will use it dk so nothing but domain keys already provide definitions as well so next one is a written path written path always so sender email address written path is always sender email address and header analyzer always header analyzer in the format of html programming language so header analyzer in the form of html programming language so it's one of the interior question as well do you know how to do manual header analyzer or will you use any tools to do identify the header analyzer okay so now coming back so what the phishing email generic 